Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to, I feel like I ought to be introducing Welcome to Tales from the Crypt, the way I sound. Still got this cold. Welcome to a not a successful video, or rather a video of some non-successful stuff. Or well, Welcome to a fail video. When I put out my last sales video, I didn't put any duds in. Usually I do 20 good sales and then I stick a few duds in the end just for balance. And I didn't put any duds in. I think I said at the time, couldn't face it, there were so many duds that I couldn't face trawling through them. And literally one of the comments was, can you do a whole video about your duds? So why not? Let's do an entire video of things I probably won't bother buying again if I see them at a car boot sale because I've had them in stock for a hundred years and they only finally sold for almost no money whatsoever. Right, I am recording my screen, I hope, so I'll be able to pop this bit in and we'll just have a look. I've got 20 up on the screen of things that sold for no money after being in stock for a million years. So first on my list of things I wouldn't bother buying again is this Voy Jeans padded cotton grey white quilted varsity hooded jacket. Now, I saw Voy Jeans and I thought, oh, you know, Voy, Voy Jeans themselves go okay. So when I saw there was a, a Voy Jeans jacket, I thought I would give it a go. Looks all right, doesn't it? It's not in too bad condition. It's not a brilliant photograph, but it's not in too bad condition, so I thought. It was in stock for a billion to years. I mean, the, the start date on this says January the 7th, 2024, but that's not accurate because that's the start date of this final auction on which it sold. That's not the start date when it was first listed. It had been listed for minimum two years, possibly three or four. I pull things out of Buy It Now eventually. I shove them onto auction. I usually start them at 4 99 auctions. They do a couple of rounds of 4 99 If they don't sell at that, I take them down to 2 99 They do several rounds at 2 99 Eventually, I give up and stick them on at 99p. And they might do 10 or more rounds at 99p before I finally give up and pull them off sale and chuck them back in the charity shop. And the main reason for that is that not I'm still believing that they're going to sell, but that I'm too lazy to go and pick them for no point. Literally, I'm no, too lazy to go find them and take them off. So they just stay going round and round and round on auction forever, pointlessly. You get, I think it's 600 auction listings a month included with the shop level that I'm on. And I only use auctions for clearing old stock. Sorry about the fringe. So it doesn't bother me if I just reuse those auction listings that I'm not going to use in any, any other way on just trying to clear some of the old stuff off rather than bothering to pick it for no reason. Anyway, this jacket finally went for 4 <coughs> But even with that, even with that, it's still an epic fail because I ended up refunding the buyer because I had missed a massive great hole in the lining. And it arrived, the, the buyer messaged me and said, you said this was in very good condition and there's a huge hole in the lining. So I ended up refunding him outright. So it sold for absolutely nothing. The only possible saving grace was that it probably came from the sacks. I've had it a very long time, but it probably came out of the sacks and it probably cost me less than 50p. But either way, it, I will have lost money on this in the end because I will have refunded the buyer his original postage as well as his purchase price. So I'd be four pound out of pocket, regardless. There you go, there's our first fail. I will never pick up a Voy Jeans padded grey cotton grey jacket again, ever. <coughs> Next fail is this Christian Dior Sauvage EDT spray. This should not have been a fail. This should have been a massive success. Indeed, it would have been a massive success. I bought it from the car boot sale only a few weeks ago for seven pounds. I sold it very quickly for 39.99. I was so pleased by a message me went, this is clearly fake. Now, I don't know. This was out of my comfort zone and maybe I'll stay back in my comfort zone for now and I won't bother picking up things like this again because I don't know anything about perfumes and how you tell they're fake. And I obviously missed this. The buyer sent me quite a very knowledgeable. This is what these are all the reasons it's fake. And I couldn't argue with it. And so I refunded them without even trying to argue. And I didn't bother getting it back. I didn't send that. I can you can send a return label and have things sent back to you. What was the point? If it was fake, I wasn't going to be able to sell it again. I just refunded them with my apologies. And that way I at least protect my feedback and don't get in trouble for selling a fake. And I will be very, very much more circumspect before I sell perfumes again or aftershaves. Now this will be another sack item, this Hobbs jersey top, and it's just a simple top. But Hobbs should have been fine. Hobbs should have been worth keeping. When I used to get the sacks, I used to get huge bulk buys of clothing sacks. And I used to pick through, take out what I wanted and then sell the rest on in bulk. And I would keep Hobbs because it's Hobbs. Hobbs is a good name. Hobbs, that's a Hobbs top. Hobbs is expensive. This must have been listed at least two years, possibly more. I haven't had the sacks for at least a year. So it's been listed at least two years. For it to have got to the point where it was on a 99p start, it's been listed a very long time, and it finally went out at 99p. Ep epic fail. Again, the only saving grace is that it will have cost me less than 50p. So there won't be much profit left in it. At 99p, by the time I've paid fees and all the rest of it, 
um, and tax. There won't be much profit left in it, but there won't be much of a loss. And the rest of those are going to be along that same theme. Noah Noah. Now, I thought this was a very high-end brand. I, maybe maybe I was wrong, maybe it isn't, but I will have pulled this out of the sacks and been quite excited. Oh, Noah Noah, that's a good brand. That's an expensive brand. Again, listed for a very long time. Maybe it was an unfortunate shape or design. Maybe the people don't like ruffles, ruffles anymore. I don't know. But listed for several years and finally went on bids at 99p. And I can see that it's been listed a long time because my postage there, I charged 375 when I set this listing up. And I've been on 395 for well over a year, and I was on 385 for a while before that. So I can see that the start time of this listing is a very long time ago. The next thing that I will not build, bother picking up very more pretty much is jewellery. Now, I will still buy job lots of jewellery if I come across them, and I will still pick through them in case there's any gold in there. But I don't usually bother listing costume jewellery anymore because I don't know anything about it. I must have listed these because I thought, oh, they're pretty, someone will want them. Somebody did want them eventually, but they wanted them at 99p after they'd been listed for a billion to years. There you go, the postage on those, 385 so at least, at least a year and a half, I'd say, and probably a lot longer. Why is this one a fail? These are Hotter Sandals. Hotter Sandals shouldn't be a fail. Hotter is a strong, solid name. You know you can rely on it. Usually worth picking up. These are a fail because I did not realise that they had been altered by the previous owner when I picked them up. They're not supposed to be slingbacks. Can you see here, on the, on the centre of the strap there, that blob, that's glue. Somebody had cut the straps and glued them to make them into slingbacks. Now, I sold them once at ordinary price and sent them out without even realising this, and that was when the buyer sent them back and said, these have been um, these have been adjusted, somebody's mended these, I don't want them anymore, they're not wanted, and of course I had to refund, they came back to me, because I, at the time I was like, really? So I had them sent back, had a look, and realised that the head were altered, so I then added that to the listing and relisted them over and over and over and over and over again, and they finally went at 99p, so they are almost definitely failed, because I think I bought those from a car boot sale i think i would have paid probably two or three pounds for them so they're a definite fail and i'll be much more careful it won't stop me buying hotter sandals but i'll be much more careful in future when i pick them up more costume jewelry look at this lovely set i remember buying this at the car boot and i think that's a very nice set somebody will want that i think i paid two pounds for it again listed for an awfully long time 385 postage on there long 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 time never sold eventually went out at 99p auction so that's definitely a loss I remember having high hopes for this one because it's a vintage dress. It's a vintage Devon Noir shell shimmer dress. And it's really pretty. It's, you know, for the, for the age of it, it's probably, um, probably 60s, I would think. It is a European size, which is European 44. Maybe that made it a problem to sell it. I don't know. But it was listed for an awfully long time as all the others have been, and finally went out for 99p. So I'll be a bit more careful in future before I pick up vintage because plainly I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know what I'm looking for. As a whole, I'm selling less and less clothing these days anyway. Here's another one. This is a Topshop Moto, which is a bit of a shaky brand. Some things do well, some things not so much. And I picked this up because it is a velour dungaree mini dress. Now, Sarah resells has amazing luck with velour and needle cord and stuff like that. And I'm always inspired by what other people are doing well with. So I picked this up and, of course, Blush Pink, when I first listed this, Blush Pink was a, was really, really in. That's a long time ago. And maybe I missed the trend on it. Maybe I just missed my moment because it never sold. And it finally went out on this 99p auction. Jane Norman is another one on which the ship has sadly sailed. This used to be... When I first started reselling, and I think maybe that's the problem, is that sometimes I pick up stuff that used to sell when I first started reselling, and I forget that that's over 20 years ago. <laughs> maybe, just maybe, I should have moved with the times. <laughs> so when I first started reselling, if you saw Jane Norman, you pounced on it because it was always going to sell well. This was back in the days when there were still Jane Norman stores on the high street, and they've been, they went bust I don't know how long ago. So when I picked this up, I thought, oh, you know, we'll, we'll, definitely get, we'll definitely get some. This may have come out of the sacks, if I remember rightly, but I remember I would have been, oh, Jane Norman, that's a good one. We'll have that again, listed for a year and a day. Possibly one of the problems with this is that it's a UK six. That's a tiny person size. And whilst tiny people exist, you're very much narrowed, excuse the pun, your audience by, by listing a size six. So this went out at 99p auction eventually. 
Bowden is another one that I think the ship has sailed on it. Bowden used to be massive. If you saw Bowden, it was like, oh, snap that up. But I think it's long gone. This is a yellow circle print, simple blouse. And again, it's gone out on a 90 pound, 90 pound. In fact, it's gone on a 99p auction yesterday and it hasn't sold yet. It hasn't paid yet. So it, hasn't, it could be even more of a fail if they don't actually pay. But it will have come from the sacks. I wouldn't have bought that item as it is. It's just a sleeveless T-shirt. So I wouldn't have bought that from a charity shop. It would have come from the sacks. Cost me less than 50p, but it's still a fail by the time you take like, fees and all the rest of it. It's probably still sold at a loss. I really probably should be a little bit more selective about whether I even bother selling stuff like that, whether I just pull it off. These are Laura Ashley framed applique pictures. And I got these in filler bag. I'm picking up the three in filler bag. Now, that... That means it's slightly less of a fail because the filler bag stuff costs anything from 15 to 30 pence. So, you know, nothing. nothing I get a whole bag of stuff and I can fill it for three pounds and you can put in as much as you can squeeze in. So very, very minimal outlay on this. But I remember thinking, oh, they're Laura Ashley. Somebody will want those. Well, as I said, somebody eventually did, but not until a couple of years had passed. These were, I remember them being up on top of the, well, I had the Calax units behind me in the office. I remember being up on top of there for a long time. I moved the units around in the office over a year ago. Over a year ago, I think. So they've been they've been listed a good two years. And again, gone out on 99p auction, but they're sitting next to me in the bag. They've not yet been paid for. Some of the auctions I'm showing you only finished yesterday. Disney Store mug. A Disney Store Baloo Jungle Book mug. This is one of those huge mugs as well. Now, Disney Store stuff is usually a really safe bet. A Disney mug, usually a safe bet. Varying prices, but usually worth picking up. I probably paid, I think I went buy this from a charity shop, and I may pay two or three pounds for it. But maybe, maybe again, just the ship of sale on Jungle Book. That's an old film now. And the audience, for fa you know, fans of the Jungle Book, that's probably probably a very small audience now. It has gone out on a 99p auction and you know, it's finally sold at least. But I won't pick up a balloon mug again. Now this is a Reese or Rice, I'm never quite sure how to pronounce that. Bright, bright blue sleeveless pleated skater dress. Sound like I'm doing a tongue twister. And there was a tiny bidding war on this one up because this was going on auction as well. But there must have been a bidding war because the start price was 99p and it rocketed all the way up to £1.20. So somebody must have got a little bit of busy bidding frenzy at the last moment and stuck an extra 20p on. This is this is an expensive brand, Reese or Rice. And, you know, normally if you if you try and buy this in the high street, that's that's going to cost you a few quid. And it's a skater dress. It's a it's a fairly classic style. I thought this would be a safe bet. I think I got it out of the sack, so I don't think it cost me very much. But it's certainly not a success if it sells for one pound twenty. Ted Baker, another high street name that's expensive if you walk in to buy it. Another one that should have been. A safe bet. Again, another one with a slight bidding war because we started this at 99p and it went to the dizzying heights of £1.24 before the hammer came down on it. But even so, even so, I actually got as far as listing this on Vinted as well. I listed five things on Vinted and never sold any of them. I've lost my uh, lost my love of Vinted already, I think. <laughs> but it never sold on Vinted. It finally went out on, on the 99p auctions and finally got to £1.24. So I'll be careful before I, before I buy Ted Baker. Although, as I said, it probably came in bulk. I don't even remember buying these. These have been listed for so long, I have no recollection of buying them. I don't think... I, it's not the kind of thing I would have picked up at a car boot sale, I don't think. So maybe it came from a charity shop. I don't know. I don't know how much I paid. Possibly more than three pounds. Definitely put them in as a fail because you would have expected them to perhaps go for a little bit more. They went for three pounds. Um, I think they went on best offer. I don't think they went on auction. Yeah, look, it says good took cancelled at the top. So I must have had them listed at X price and somebody sent me an offer of three pounds and I've gone, oh God, go on, have them because they're not going to shift any other way. This is one that should have been a good sale. It's a Peruna spot print Mac. It's a really nice Mac winter coat. Really lovely and yet listed for a long time and never shifted. I can tell it's been listed a while because there's my backdrop and I haven't taken photos of that backdrop for a while. And it went out of 4.99. I mean, it's more of a success than the 99p auctions, but it's still not exactly anything to write home about, is it? Caroline Charles. Now, Caroline Charles is a high-end brand. 
Princess Diana used to wear Caroline Charles, for example. It's a high-end brand and it's usually... Expensive. Actually, it's a dress and jacket suit of all things. So this, the jacket... Here you go. There's the jacket. This is a lovely thing. This is Look at this. This is actually a really lovely thing. This is the kind of thing that you would wear Mother of the Bride or whatever. So when I picked this up, I must have been very excited. I think it may have come out of the sacks, but I must have been very excited because I was like, oh, Caroline Charles... Caroline Charles, I've done well with that before. This will be good. This will be nice. Maybe it's because my photos are rubbish. Because those are not the best photos. Let's face it. I don't put anywhere near enough effort into photographing clothes because I don't enjoy it. Um, I don't enjoy any of the photography, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. That's gone out of four ninety nine on auctions, and I think it had been listed a couple of times before it finally went. As an L K Bennett dress. Now we we know we're safe with L K Bennett, don't we? L K Bennett, safe brand. Is it Eckers like? I can, apparently, I can even get that wrong. This is a red sleeveless shift dress, boucle material, fully lined. Lovely, lovely thing. Lovely dress. Listed for a million years and finally went out at 4 .99. I think I had this originally listed at 49 .99 and gradually came down and came down and came down. It just wasn't going. And the last one. If you're not depressed enough, this is the last one. I mean, it's, this is properly, um, probably depressed me. Mint Velvet, grey smooth weave cardigan. Mint Velvet used to be a very reliable brand, but it's another one that I think the ship has sailed on. I think, I don't know. I don't know what's happened with all the top brands that I used to know about. Maybe, maybe my all of my knowledge is just out of date. Maybe I need to do some more research, follow a few new resellers, find out what's happening on labels and stuff like that now, because I don't seem to have any kind of a magic touch with clothes. This has gone out of $4.99. Um, it was quite a nice thing, quite a nice top with a kind of an offset button detail, but $4.99 for a mint velvet, mint velvet cardigan. That's it. Now, I don't think this is a particularly cheerful video, but it is at least a brutally honest video. The, you know, there are highs and lows in reselling. I put my sales video out and I had some marvellous results, like that tiny jelly cat that sold for nearly £100 and stuff like that. But... For all of the marvellous results, there is always the, the counterbalance. There's always the rubbish stuff. I might send out 50 parcels a week. And of those 50, it's going to be half and half at the bare minimum. Half and half good, half and half just clearing stuff out. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is this. You asked for it. You asked for it and you got it. And again, apologies for my croakiness and froggy throat. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.